Okay, third grade, I, th I thought that I would give you a quick tutorial of how to blend colors together as you're painting your leaves. So I'm going to start with some cool colors because they will blend well together. And I'm going to grab a color wheel because I know some of you were using those and they were helpful. And I can see that on the color wheel, the cool colors are all right next to each other. So green will blend into blue, blue will blend into purple, purple into magenta, and so on. So I'll keep this handy over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my brush wet to activate my paint, and I'm gonna start with some green, and I'm gonna swirl the paint like a ballerina on its tippy toes, and I'm just gonna start painting and pick a spot. I'm not gonna focus on painting in the shapes, what I really want to see here is that you can blend colors together. And blending colors together means that you don't see a line where the colors change. They should flow into each other. Now before I go into my next color, I need to make sure I rinse my brush off really good. I can always wipe it on the side of my cup. And then I'm going to choose, um, I'm going to choose this turquoise color because I think it will be a nice blending color here. So I'm gonna go right over some of my green a little bit. I'm gonna go over the bottom part of my green. And do you see how the green just fades right into that turquoise color? I'm gonna go into, there we go. I'm gonna get a little bit darker. And I'm still, I haven't even dipped in the water yet. I'm still pulling that color down, okay? So that looks great. I can't really see where the two colors stop. I just see that they blend together and, and it's still wet so I can even keep sort of going over that line. If you find that you have a line there, uh, I'll show you a trick for that in a minute. So now I'm looking at my color wheel and I'm noticing that that turquoise color goes really well uh, with the blue because the blue is right next to it. So I'm gonna grab myself a little bit of blue and I'm gonna go right over the edge there. Again, not really paying attention to the, the design um, and that's okay. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, I got a little darker now. I'm gonna come up here. If you go outside the lines a little, that's okay too, because we're gonna be cutting these out. So I can see like right here where I can see where the blue stops. So I'm just gonna rinse it off, wipe my brush, and then I'm gonna take just the water and kind of go over that line. And you see how it just sort of blends it all in? Okay, so this is all, it goes from green into blue and you don't see where the lines stop. I'm gonna do one more. Next one is violet. So I'm gonna use this violet color down here and I'm gonna take my blue and I'm gonna go right over a little bit of that blue, swirl it up. Notice how I'm using the side of my brush because I'm painting some large areas. I don't wanna use the tip of my brush like this because I'm gonna get these little tiny lines and that's not what I'm trying to do. So I'm using the side of my brush, but I'm not flattening the brush out. We definitely never wanna do that. Okay, and I'm just blending the purple. Okay, so I really want you to work on your blending technique. So what you can see that I have here is green that flows down into turquoise, that flows into blue, that flows into purple. And I can continue this and keep going. I'll take the purple down into the magenta and then up this up into the red. And then over here I could blend you know, some more magenta or I can take it back to blue. You just kind of follow the color wheel and make sure that you're blending those colors together. And these leaves are gonna turn out awesome.